Hey, what is up guys? Javelin here. We are going to going to be making <laughs> this trap, which I accidentally just activated. Um, that is a frost block, right? Good. Uh, we're not going to be doing this. So that was a little tester, which I did in before, just testing some stuff out, working out the kinks in this particular trap. But basically what this trap is going to do is if a player has the high level enchantment of Frostwalker 2 or I believe it was Frostwalker 1, G English please, uh, Frostwalker 1 as well possibly. I don't know for sure but it should. Uh, maybe we'll check that out later. Um, we don't want those to be there either. So what's gonna happen is uh, if a player walks through here and you can put this in a hallway to like the base or something. If you want the enchantment Frostwalker 2, Frostwalker 2 boots, then this is a really uh, efficient way to get it without having to chance it with a enchanting table or something like that. But the player will walk through here, and if they don't have Frostwalker 2, or I don't know if it works with Frostwalker 1 or not, but if they don't have Frostwalker, nothing's going to happen, nothing at all. The hallway will just stay the same, so I'd still suggest using this security device, which we did in the previous tutorial, to lock the base up, and then go ahead and throw this uh, this trap maybe uh, right here on the hallway or something. So, what's going to happen is, if the player has the Frostwalker boots, we have Frostwalker two. And I walk through. Oh, pit's gonna trap. Pit's gonna. Yep. Pit's. Bleh, 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 English. A pit is going to. Wow. Wow. Ah, man. A pit is going to open up underneath them. And it's gonna. Uh, I mean, you can set it up with hoppers. It'll probably kill them. Is what I get the feeling you guys are gonna want to be doing. Otherwise. I don't know what you're going to do, but that is what happens if they're wearing the boots. No boots, like I said before, nothing happens. Alrighty, so uh, let's get started with this tutorial. Alright, so you're going to want a hallway that is at least that wide. So at least one, two, three, four long, not wide actually. So I'm going to do that, two, three, four. And let's just dig this out and put a nice floor in there. Go ahead and put in the rest of it. And there's the hallway. So, after that, you want to go ahead, come off to the side here, put a bit of water there. Stick this in there. Sorry. Block. Uh, slime block there with the redstone block on top. Where is that? Where is that? Mm, there we go. Redstone block on top, and then put a block up, and a sticky piston facing this way. Like that, put a redstone block on the face of the sticky piston, and build one up right there. Take redstone, bring it down there, there, and there. Put two repeaters there. Nope, not there. Put there and there. Break the wall out, dig a little hole, two, two sticky pistons there, and there. Then you build your wall back in. And that's it. That's it done. All of it. If you wanna you wanna set the trap by doing that and causing a block update for this piston. I don't care how you do it, do it, just do it. And then this is the default position. When a player walks through, nothing happens if they don't have the Frostwalker boots on. And if they do have the Frostwalker boots on, by any chance, hopefully they will if you are looking to get some Frostwalker boots. If they do have the Frostwalker boots on, on in, and they get trapped down here, in whatever sort of deadly thing you're going to have set for them. I'd suggest using a pitfall trap and hooking up to some hoppers and possibly an item elevator and then you will get all of their stuff in a chest. 
I might do a tutorial on an item elevator later. Keep an eye out for that. Oh. Uh, huh. Well, that's weird. Yeah. Definitely, um, yeah. Make sure you're, you <laughs> aren't wearing Frostwalker boots when you enter your base. Um, otherwise, sometimes, especially not when you're setting this thing, because that will happen, what you just saw happen there. You've got the break in and update and double update and does a one tick thing and it's just awful. Just don't wear frostwalker boots when you go in your base. Um, and now we're going to have to redo this block update, so let me just do that. And now it's set again. Um, it should auto reset, but I don't know, that's been kind of finicky lately because of I actually don't know why because what's supposed to happen is you walk in oh and then there's frost and then there's sadness and they fall down and they die but something is happening with this frost block where it's not actually frost it just becomes ice which is weird because we're not even in yeah that happened again because we're not even in a biome where something would be frozen in ice. Also, if so you're in a biome where something would be frozen in ice, put glowstone next to it or something like that. Make sure that it works right. Otherwise, this will freeze in ice and always be ice, so nothing will happen when they walk over it. Update again. So you're probably going to have to reset this trap if it's a pitfall trap. Um, however, with this one, it seemed to be working without having to reset it. Nope, now it is not working again. So, I'm uh, not sure, but I am certain that this, like this, will trap somebody with Frostwalker boots unless they have a really fast reaction time because it opens up right there. So if they're spreading into your base to try to charge or something, yeah. Of course, if they are, you know, crouch walking and being really careful, this isn't going to get them. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Hope it was helpful. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is Javelin, and I'm out.